love the city of Cincinnati so much. Things that just make sense. Summer and Sarah. Hello everyone, it is Sarah Burgett and welcome back to my channel. It is Monday morning at 9 a.m. exactly. I'm about to walk into work and I decided I was gonna do a week in my life this week, kind of show you what I do for work and just bring you along my week, you know? It's gonna be an exciting week. I'm taking my dad to a concert on Wednesday for Father's Day. It's like the Grateful Dead, but it's called Dead and Company now. What else? I don't know, it should be an exciting week. I have not had my coffee yet, so my brain is a little mushroom right now oh and I need to put on my earrings but it feels good to be back I got back from vacation yesterday so I have a lot to do this week at the desk yeah I hope you guys enjoy today's video mm -mm 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 just got home from work but you guys know that moment when you get home from vacation and you just sit there like what now that's how I feel what you have so much food and so much water right there do you join tension Anyways, me and Katie are about to hit the gym, so I'm gonna get changed and hit the gym before I sit down. If, as long as I hit the gym before I sit down, I'm good to go. But if I do it after I sit down, my motivation level declines by like 50%, so that's good. So we're about to do that, and I will film a couple clips, and then I'll catch up with you. I cleaned all my clothes before I got home, and now they're just gonna get it all hairy again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, and I look like shit. <laughs> me too. We just made it to crunch. There you go. We're gonna work it out, but I'm not gonna bring in my camera because I'm embarrassed and I don't know how to do the things yet. We're about to go get our workout on and hopefully next time you see me, I'm a sweaty mess. <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh. So we're driving back and we found out Katie has never had Chipotle. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm so honored to be taking her Chipotle virginity. And yes, we got the goods. We're going home and we are about to do a little review of her first bite. I wish I knew so I would have told you what the thing to get is. But everything from Chipotle is good. So you'll be fine. All right. Thoughts? I love it. You love it? Is it so good? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. And then this is Lydia's dinner. <laughs> Not even mine. <laughs> and then I said, wait, that's not mine, is it? She said, no, but I ate yours the other day. <laughs> you ever? We're celebrating going to the gym. Not me. Lydia got some wine. Cheers. Cheers. Lydia's celebrating going to the pool with a glass of wine. Uh, you know, life is all about balance. This is the lesson. Look at the way her dog is sitting. The wig. <laughs> Why is it so funny? This is Obi. He's gonna be a character in our vlogs. And this is Peter. Peter looks like the Pringles can man. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Everyone in our office is the one day where everyone's in at the same time, so. I like to dress up a little on Tuesdays. We're wearing a maxi today. I think I'm gonna work out again today, so I didn't wash my hair. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. You are just, you just want all the camera attention. I got to work early, which means I'm gonna see if my coffee shop is open before work because I always get it at lunch. But the Finley Market, the little flea market right next to us, and it's super cute, but it's never open on Mondays. It's open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Usually I get lunch at the market, but today I decided to just bring lunch to my friend Alex. She lives about 15 minutes away, but I'm in the mood for a good soup and salad. We don't have that around where my office is. So I was like, you know, Alex has a McAllister's next to her. I'll just get her some lunch and say hi and then scarf it down and I'll have just enough time to come back. So we get an hour lunch. I don't want to go over that. So I finally cleaned out my car. 
I love to see it. It was so messy for so long. It was just like moving and then helping my dad move and all that fun stuff. But I wanted to talk to you guys about what I do for my job because I got a couple comments on my last video about it and I forgot I just haven't explained it at all. So I honestly, like what I do right now is like, I would say it's like my dream job. It's It perfectly captures everything I've learned throughout the years with social media and then what I went to college for. So I went to the University of Cincinnati if you're new here and I graduated in 2019 with a degree in communications and public relations and I minored in electronic media. So like video production, audio production, and then with public relations it was like content calendars, all that fun stuff. And you know, everyone knows communications. It's just like a pretty broad major. So after the pandemic, I was just jumping from the most random jobs to the most random jobs because no one was hiring because no one knew if the pandemic was actually gonna like subside or not. And then, if you guys know my friend Kendra, if you've been watching me since high school, she's my best friend since high school, and she works basically manages this bar slash grill and I love that place I've been going there since college and she works every day so I ended up visiting her like once or twice a week like every week just to be able to catch up with her so we could keep our friendship going because our schedules are so different I would sit there and they were like oh my gosh it's like this this restaurant just hasn't been able to get back to where it used to be because of COVID and so I was helping them with marketing here and there and then the manager came up to me and was like oh my gosh like, you've been helping us there's a position open are you looking for a job I was working for with my dad at the time and I liked it but my parents went through a divorce and it, I was kind of feeling like a therapist sometimes and I just you know needed some space to myself and even though my dad's my best friend it was like the line of personal and business was really blurry so I applied for this job and I went through the interviews and I got the job and it's amazing I'm the marketing manager for 12 bars downtown downtown Cincinnati we have two bars in Columbus and we have six bars in Chicago and what I do is all their social media I do all their websites their online menus all that fun stuff so I do content calendars for them I go in and take pictures I help them host events it is literally like my dream job it's crazy and especially since you guys know I used to be a bartender and I love the industry but being a bartender is kind of rough you sleep till 2 p.m. you don't go to bed till like 5 or 6 a.m. you know it, it's just way different so with this job I can kind of still be friends with all the bartenders and still like live that life a little bit just the best of both worlds in my opinion and I'm in the office Monday Tuesday and Thursday from 9 to 5 we have an office of about 14 people there's about four or five girls my age and then everyone else is like older our four owners are about probably like in their late 30s and everyone is just super cool, super innovative. We're actually coming out with a new bar um, in downtown Cincy before the football season starts. And we're all like coming up with the concept of it together and brainstorming what we think the logo should be. It is just super, super cool to see internally how bars run. I would have never thought there was like a corporate office to do what I'm doing, but it makes a lot of sense. And we can get ahead of schedule with all the holidays and events. And everything and it is just so much fun I feel like I'm going to work because it is a nine to five but I don't feel like I'm getting wrinkles by just doing busy work like everything I do has a purpose and the coolest thing the most different thing about what I'm doing than I've, what I've done in the past is that you know my marketing has to get people in the door we're able to see how many um, you know people have followed us since I've started working there which is just about to be my fourth month and then we can see you know how sales have been done for each bar. I work hand in hand with each manager. I personally have five bars and we have two in church right now that are helping me take over the bar division. And then I have one girl above me who kind of oversees everything that we're doing. She makes sure we have no typos. She's going to work hand in hand with the new bar and um, all that stuff. So it is super, super cool and so different. But there's that TikTok that's like, I'm the marketing manager of a, a Vegas nightclub. And everyone's like, how do you get that job? And I'm like, I am kind of have that job. But it's like a way lower scale because it's Cincinnati. But 
out of all the bars in Cincinnati, this is definitely the biggest, the most known company with the bars. And our bars are here to stay and they're really good and really fun. So maybe one day I'll take you guys around. I'll give you guys a tour of every bar that we work for. Uh, we have an Ernest Hemingway bar. We have a 70s style bar. We have our outdoor patio bar. Like there's the one for every single occasion. It's amazing. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about it. And um, I'm really excited to see what I can do to help grow this company. They have already taught me so much. So yeah, that's what I do now. And I'm excited to show you guys along. I love being in a creative field. I was in finance for a little bit. Yeah, it was all right, but I'm not a finance person. I never even took an economics class in college. So yeah, so that's the update and I am on the highway now. So I'm gonna let you guys go. We're gonna stop by McAllister's, grab the soup and salad for Alex and myself and we're gonna chow down. The bag is secured. Thanks McAllister's. Tiny! Alex! Oh, hello, Daigi. This is Tiger, oh. that's Lion. <laughs> Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Oh, oh my. <laughs> that's so cute. Are you the cutest puppy? Yes, yeah. yes. yes. Puppy? Hi friends, it is now Wednesday and I am sad because I did so much yesterday. I had such a productive day and I didn't film any of it. So I'm just gonna tell you about it instead. I literally came home from work. I know I filmed like a little bit during work, but yeah, I came home from work and I went straight to the gym with my new roommate. It's been such an interesting experience. So my roommate lifts a lot, but she's still like, she like models with me. So she lifts a lot. And so when I go to the gym, I'm all like, I wanna be as sweaty as possible. I'm gonna do cardio and then I'm gonna lift but I'm never like pushing myself and stuff. But she just goes there, she does 30 minutes of like really hard lifting and then she goes home. And I was like, oh my gosh, I almost feel like I didn't get a workout. But let me tell you, today I can barely walk. I literally look crazy when I'm walking because we did glutes yesterday. We did arms the day before and yesterday it felt like I had a, just gotten a shot. You know when you get a shot? Or like if you just got the vaccine, like you lift your arm and it hurts. That's what it felt like yesterday. Anyways, it's been so interesting. And then we went to Kroger. I made the room, I don't know if you followed me on Instagram, you would have seen it, but I made the roomies a cute dinner. We did tacos and like lettuce wraps, we veggies, and then we had a little glass of wine and end the night and watched a movie together. And it was a lot of fun. And I'm sad that I freaking didn't vlog it, but at the same time, sometimes you gotta live in the moment, you know? I'll get better at making sure I bring my camera out because I feel like those are the type of events that you guys wanna see. But today is a whole different story. It is about noon right now. I was working from home all morning. This is technically my lunch break. And for my lunch break, I am doing a little modeling gig, AKA it's just a fitting for the bridal company I work with. Yeah, so they just came out with a new line of dresses. And so this is the first fitting in them, which is really interesting. I always love doing the first fitting because it's like you never, you have no idea what they're putting on your body because it looks like you're just like being wrapped like a mummy. And then just like watching the dresses come to life is incredible. Also lost two nails, not on that hand, on this hand already. And every other nail is like about to come off and it hurts so bad and I just feel it. But today's gonna be an exciting day because I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna finish up work from home a little bit. And then I am taking my dad to the Grateful Dad concert for Father's Day. Even though Father's Day was on Sunday, I bought these tickets for him for Father's Day. So it's gonna be me, my twin brother and my dad. And it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, so I will keep you guys updated, of course. I feel like that's gonna be my saying on these vlogs because I never know how to end a vlog clip. But yeah, um, I will see you guys on the flippity flip. Ooh. Also, shout out Street House. This is my friend's company. She is awesome, awesome, awesome. She has good hoodies, joggers, shirts like this, hats. You should definitely check her out the link in the description. She's one of my really good friends and I, we have another photo shoot coming up, so I'm really excited for that. But yeah. Mm. 
She did it again, folks. Look at that, wow. I just finished up my work day and I made myself a little taco salad before the concert tonight. My dad's gonna be here in about 30 minutes or so. And I'm taking him to the Grateful Dead for Father's Day. And it just started pouring down rain. So I love that for me. But I'm gonna eat this. He said that the rain should stop in about an hour. And we're gonna have a fun night and I cannot wait to bring you guys along. They're playing at Riverbend, which is our like only Cincinnati outdoor music area, basically. I'm excited. I haven't been there in so long, so. Right, Peter? No, no, I have food. No, mine. The fam walking into Riverbend for Father's Day. Why is it blurry? Wait, like, oh! I'm gonna blame that on you. <laughs> that was me. I'm gonna blame that one I'm on sorry. you. Sam dropped my hat. We're a hot We're mess. We're Wouldn't hot want mess. it any other way. No, Aww. this is awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great times. Great times in Tampa. down sometimes as long as it's our company's gear and so I usually let myself do it on Thursdays because you know it's like the day closer to Friday <laughs> and we work from home on Fridays so the concert is so fun last night I'm definitely a little tired definitely gonna have to chug my coffee this morning we are on our way to work or a couple of minutes behind it's 903 right now I'm about to pull in and you know we're gonna grind I'm not lying when Katie did glutes and legs two days ago I am still incredibly Incredibly sore. Like, I look funny walking down the stairs. And I know she's gonna text me and say, bye and back day. And I'm just gonna say, I don't know if it's in the cards for today. <laughs> I brought clothes in case I wanted to do hot yoga. I think that might help. I'm so, so sore. It's absurd. I think I will maybe went a little too hard. But I guess that's, you know, beauty is pain. Anyways, I will catch up with you on my lunch break. I think I'm gonna go to Finley Market today for lunch. Something good and healthy. And this is the beloved Finley Market that I work across from, so I get to go here for lunch and it's amazing. And they didn't have my salmon, so we are going to my favorite sushi place. So it is currently not, or no, nine, what am I saying? So it is currently 3.45. I usually don't leave work until five, but today I am stopping by a couple locations to drop off some welcome packets for new hires, and I need to film a TikTok for Rosedale. So everyone follow Rosedale OTR on TikTok. It's a TikTok for one of my bars that I'm focusing on, and it's really exciting, and I'm trying to make it really cool and fun and hip. So I'd love your guys' support on that. I have a personal TikTok, but I don't use it as much, but I have even even more exciting news, while I was on my lunch break at work, I was texting this girl that I just became friends with her like two weekends ago. I met her out, she was so cool, we hit it off right away. And I put on my private story and I was like, okay, should I just see if there's like a cheap electric forest ticket? Cause I have a lot of friends going this weekend and I'm like really missing out and it's gonna be 75 and sunny the whole weekend. It's gonna be perfect. And she was like, swear I'm at work right now too and I'll just look all around. And first we were gonna get a camper van and then we realized it comes with camping and a bunch of our friends are just regular camping too so I'm going to electric forest tonight we have like four or three or four Friday summers that we can take off so I took that off even though I work from home just so I don't have to feel bad about not having service and stuff and then I check a half day Monday and we're about to have the craziest, most fun weekend ever, and it's the most spontaneous music festival experience ever. I had no idea I would be doing this at all. I thought I was gonna be in town this weekend. I am so freaking excited. You guys have no idea, and so I think this vlog is already pretty
pretty long and so I'm gonna kind of show you guys a little bit of me getting my stuff together and then I'm going to cut the vlog and my next vlog is going to be my electric force vlog so I'm so 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 stoked it's gonna be so fun to go with this girl I like barely know but I also have a lot of friends there that I do know we're, we're gonna obviously get to know each other but I'm the type of person that like I feel comfortable like, I would go to a music festival alone so I just think this is great and I'm so excited summer and Sarah just make sense you know what I mean things that just make sense summer and Sarah so I'm very very excited for this I feel a little guilty taking off work but also in Ohio you don't have good weather for that long so you have to make the most of it and it's in Rothbury Michigan by the way it is actually six hours away but usually tickets are like $600 and we found them for $200 so I'm so fucking hyped anyways stay tuned this is gonna be so much fun and I'm gonna show you the three bars that I'm dropping my stuff off at yay Righteous Room is one of our smaller bars in Cincinnati, but it's really fun to just stop in and get a drink. A lot of people have their work happy hours there. Um, I just went to drop off their 2022 workers comp. It just expired, so they had it before. And some new hire manuals. I love the city of Cincinnati so much. This is Igby's. Igby's is one of our, actually probably our most high scale bar. You know, a lot of the business professionals come here. Bottle service on the weekends, but it's one that bottle service bars that don't get like trashy and stuff. It's not like we have bottle girls, we have servers. It's very high end, we have charcuterie. I love Igby's, the manager in there, and I are pretty um, tight already. I've only been in this job for what, three months? So yeah, definitely one of my favorite bars, but maybe I'm biased, you know? <laughs> But now to the last bar and definitely my favorite at the moment for the summer and that is Rosedale. It is, is our patio bar and it is a lot of fun. I love all the workers there. Actually one of like the main workers went to my high school. Yeah, it's a great time. This is Rosedale. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my